uh, good evening, guys. So, um, FA Cup match, Arsenal versus Liverpool review. Liverpool 2, Arsenal 0. So, you might feel like, oh, didn't they just play 1 1 ago? So, that was EPL. So, this one is FA Cup, and unfortunately, they to the giant of the FA Cup, the uh, majority cup holder, the highest winner, frequent winner of the FA Cup, Arsenal Football Club is out. I won't be trashed by Liverpool. Not at Anfield, it was at Emirates. They were, they were flogged to zero. And just a. So I, I did a review last time, and I'm not going to just dwell on that. I'm just going to say some things that. I feel like they can do. So first of all, what are the positive in this? Number one, first positive that this is not the EPL. So they are not like seven points away from Liverpool. So this doesn't count for Liverpool in the in the EPL title. But you know, it just tells them that it reduced their competition by one. So they so they have just two competitions to go in right now. So they can focus on the EPL and the UEFA Champions League. Okay. So that's one positive. And number two positive is after this one, they are going on. I think a thirteen day break and i think they've chosen dubai to go and rest in dubai for some time and i think they really need it so it's a positive because if they have drew if they drew the match there would have been a rematch between now and i think seven days so they would have been able to make the dubai trip and they need a lot of bread because we're going to touch one or two players i don't want this video to be as long as the other one okay so that's why i'm talking as fast as possible and just touching some point okay so those are the positive in this match so what went wrong for them? Number one, I'm going to start with the defense. Number one, Saliba, they are Rolls Royce. The guy is out of form. I've watched him from West Ham. I watched him in Fulham. And I watched him today. Although I didn't watch the full man, I went back to watch the full man. The guy was outrageous. I couldn't believe it was Saliba that was making. Gabriel was the better defender today. And I bring anybody out to bring any useless stats for today's match. Gabriel was the better defender today. So they need, I think he just need rest. So form is temporary, class is permanent. So the guy is class, we know. So he just needs a time to rest. So I think the Dubai um, trip is coming in on, in the right time for him. I go to the right, uh, the, the left hand side, which they don't have a Zichenko to blame today. And guess what? They brought in a cyborg. I always call that guy cyborg. I don't know how you bring that kind of guy. His physique, he cannot, his physique is not. Is is not something that can play the left back. I, I don't know why he, he keeps playing him there. Okay, so it brings him the guy, and the guy did a known goal for me. I don't believe that guy is an EPL class defender. Whether he plays in the central defense or anywhere in the defense, I don't believe he's an EPL class defender. If you are serious about fighting tied to for the league, I don't. We have, we have passed the stage of Kiona. I'm very sorry. We have passed that stage right now in the EPL race. Okay, so we go to the midfield. The midfield was okay, but Jorginho did what Giorgio used to do, sideway pass, back or side, no dangerous pass, just keep it safe. He kept the ball safe and they didn't need anything safe, they need something to exploit. To me, all they got was the shining lights in the in the midfield, but they couldn't convert their chances, so nobody to blame. You can't blame Odegaard for passing and not scoring. I don't understand. You can only blame him for not passing or for not finding the true ball, which he did severally. But the strikers on the night couldn't put the ball into the net, okay? So on the wing, he started Nelson. Nelson was a bright light and he was shining and going well. All of a sudden, substitution and Nelson is going out. Saka has not played anything. Saka did not play anything in this match. I, will, I was thinking Nelson will go to that wing and Martinelli will be on this wing. Saka should go and sit down. If they have lost that match without Saka, I would have been glad. Saka played 90 minutes. And I'm going to do another video about Saka. I'm going to do another video about Saka because it's going to take time for me to do so. But I'm going to do a video about him. So let me just leave him for now. The striking position, Gabriel Jesus, before the match was in Jordan, we had Caravan, which he put in a good shift. But yeah, it, 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 there were some chances that he should have put in. And this is my critics about him. Because he needs like four or five chances to convert one. You need like a striker that needs just two chances to convert one and the title run. Okay? I land mixed chances, we know. So you need a chances that can get two chances and can convert one. Okay. And for Ateta, I think this is a this is a very good time to have lost this match. Go to Dubai, talk to the guys. Build your mentality, look at your tactics, look at the players you can bring in. You need to bring in a left back. 
You need to bring in a left back. If you are going to challenge, you need to bring in a left back. For me, I don't think Zicheko can do it. I think Tomiyasu can put in a shift, but Tomiyasu is also injury prone. So I think you need to bring in a left back. You need a midfielder. Enough of this party excuses. I'm tired of hearing it. This is your fourth year. You know party. Don't give me this party excuses. Those excuses does not fly for me again. Please drop this party excuse, okay? Now look for a striker. Now, I won't buy Tony for 80 million pounds. That's the truth. Tony for 80 million pounds is a cheat. That guy is 28 years old. What are you telling me? So you buy a 28 years old for what? For 80 million pounds? No. I won't buy Tony for that kind of amount. So look for a makeshift the striker. Don't tell me to give you names. That's your job. You have been paid almost 10 million in, in a year. What do you what do you do with your 10 million? You can't you can't bring a player out. Me that I'm not paid. You want to find a player for you know now. You do you, you do your assignment, do your work, you do your use your scouts now. They have scouting network all over. Look for a team striker that can make shift for now. Then in the summer I'll look for a good striker. Okay. So but I will not support them to go and spend 80 million on Tony. No. That's a, that, that, that that money is is gonna be wasted. Okay, so you need to look at yourself and do it. And for the fans, the fans, start, the fans, this is the last I'm going to say. The fans need to start holding Ateta responsible for some things. Why? This is, I think it came in 2019, November. Right now, we're in 2024. So this is like your fourth year. It's time to be accountable for some matches. It's time to be accountable for some things. You can't draw man, you can't draw Liverpool at Anfield and come to Hemrate and lose against Liverpool. It's not it's not something you should tolerate. I said I'm gonna pay a little bit of man you here. You see the man you fans and the Aston fans, they need to look themselves in the mirror and say, Why come we have dropped so low to this extent that we take Medocrat as coach? Look at what Tenag is doing at Man U. For in a normal sense, in an ideal world, Tenag shouldn't be in that position again. In an ideal world, Ateta should be sacked this night. I don't understand why these two clubs just became so low all of a sudden, like Tottenham. They just go so low. It's time the fans start holding them accountable. Don't go to the matches. Boycott the matches to tell them we are not happy with what is happening. It's not everything. It's not house now. They say house now. House now what? They are losing. Man, you, man, you, man, you what? You are losing. You are not playing well. The fans should hold these guys accountable. It is time to hold them accountable. For me, I don't think Tenag should be in that position for any reason. No, there is no justification. Yes, it's not his fault, but he shouldn't be in that position again. He should go. So for Tommy, so for Ateta also. They, some of them should find their way out of the club and look for another place. So I don't want to, I just want to keep this video on the low. I'm going to do a video about Saka. I'm going to say some things about him. And please watch out for that video. Thank you. So just to follow up with the video I just did, I'm going to talk to us solely about Saka. Now, um, I'm going to use Rooney. The best years of Rooney came from 18 to 24. Hmm. The best year of Michael Owen. Came from that same age also, 18 to 24. By the time Madrid acquired Owen, it was it, they acquired the, the, the second hand of Owen. By the time uh, Rooney turns 25, 26, go and check all his profile, go and check all his matches. He was not playing anything again. His best football was from 18 to 24. That was his best football. Now, the same thing happened, is happening to Saka. Now, people say he can only get better, Saka can only get better. Get to see. Throughout this season, Saka has been getting worse. Forget the 20 goal eh, that you are seeing. Saka has been worst this season. Only that Martinelli has been worst, more worst. So, Martinelli has taken that shine away from Saka. People are like, oh, Martinelli is not worst. Well, Saka is still doing 20 GA. No. Saka is as worst as Martinelli. The two of them are off form. I'm, I'm focusing on Saka for something. I want to say something. And I want you guys to follow the pattern. England players, most of them, their shine is between 18 to 24. Rooney and Owen comes to mind 18 to 24. Go and check their story. Go and check their, their, their profile. From 18 to 24, Rooney was untouchable. Rooney was unstoppable. But from 25 to 26, go and check Rooney. His form was dropping. His form was dropping seriously. Why? I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because from 18 to 24, he was playing 19 minutes. Rooney was not missing game. Rooney was not an injury prone player. Rooney was not missing games at all. He was playing, rugged, putting everything in. And guess what? At 25 26, he was tired. He was seriously tired. People have caught all his, all his turning, everything. 
his report start going down and down and down. And that was what happened to him. The same thing is happening to Saka right now. He's playing 90 minutes, even though he's playing rubbish football. They're still keeping him on the field for 90 minutes. You can't substitute him. The same thing that happened to Rooney and where will happen to Saka eventually. Because his, his prime age, it will be so shocking. Saka's prime age will be from, that is 17 to 24. After 24, you will see a decline in, the, in, in his progress. You see a decline in his play. Because this is what happened to a player. You just use them and use them 90 minutes, 90 minutes. Why can't you look for a substitute for him? Kundus comes to mind. He was parading himself and saying, buy me, buy me, buy me. Nobody could buy him to substitute for Saka. Saka needs someone to challenge him. And right now, there are just two players that comes to mind. Bowen of West Ham, Neto of Hoops. Those two will replace Saka. In fact, if you, if you are not going through sentiment, they will start ahead of him. If you are not going through sentiment, both of them will start ahead of Saka in your team. So, go for one of them. I don't know which one will be cheaper for you. I don't know anyone. The two of them are good players. Go to any one of them. Buy any one of them. Let them give him competition. He cannot continue to play 90 minutes with these awful performances. He needs to be dropped. Just like Martinelli is being dropped. Him too needs to be dropped. Okay? So, it's just a warning for him. He's going down. The, his performance is going down. We can tell throughout this season. There was a ball they played today. I saw the ball. Open post. It was just only him at the post. He couldn't even put the ball in. Two. Another one at the corner. Just put the ball back in. He put the ball over. Nobody is seeing this. If it was ever that's done those two things, it would have been trendy by now. So, you should watch it. Just like they call him a star boy. You should watch it. He needs rest. He needs a substitute. He needs somebody to fight him for that position. And he needs to be dropped because he has been awful. So, that's just my take about it.